Skew is an extension for After Effects that allows you to shift layers on the timeline in a human intuitive way. Move, scale, align, flip, and nudge layers in a way that makes you question why this isn't built into After Effects in the first place. Your workflow will never be the same again. Let's jump in. So I have this animation and we're going to bring it to life a bit using Skew. You can open the plugin by going to Window, Extensions and clicking Skew. Now here you can see all our layers and it's a bit of a mess right now, so let's organize it. After Effects lets you change label colors, but in their menu, you can't actually see a tooltip for any of the colors, so it's not very intuitive, and Skew improves on this. So for example, if we box select by clicking and dragging, and then either click this More menu or just right click, you can actually see the color tooltip for each of the labels. So let's choose red. Now I'm going to highlight this group, and let's label this purple. And then this is all one piece of text. So I'm going to label this. And now we have everything nice and organized. I think for this part of the animation, I want the S to come in first, and then I want the remaining letters to come in with some delay. So let's click the S here and then right click and click select similar. And that's going to select all the other letters here because we labeled them all as purple. Now this is where the magic of skew happens. So if you move your mouse to the top or bottom of your selection and you drag, you can see it's actually offsetting or sequencing the layers that you've selected. If we release that and then play the animation, it's not quite what we want. We actually want the S to come first, and right now it's animating the L first. So we can fix this easily by simply selecting our layers, and this floaty menu should pop up, and you can click flip horizontally, and that's going to flip our layers. And now if we play, that's exactly what we want. And you can also just press F as a shortcut to flip. So now let's do the same to this word skew on the other side. And this time, instead of selecting similar, let's try just shift clicking and selecting the W. Now we know we want the S to come in first. So we're gonna drag from the bottom and we're gonna drag out like this. And now if we press play, looking good. All right, now we wanna skew these letters at the bottom. Let's right click, select similar. And now let's click this solo button at the top. And this way, we can just work on these layers without all the other layers getting in the way. This time, in the floaty menu, I'm going to click Move Randomly. And this will allow us to randomly offset the layers. And we can even use the scroll wheel to generate different random seeds. So let's go for something like this. We're gonna select our layers again and just drag them a little bit to the right. And now let's play. You can see all the letters now coming in randomly. To set things back to how they were, I'm going to select these yellow layers and I'm going to press align left. And that is going to do exactly what it sounds like, just align them all to the left. Come over to the more menu and let's try this sequencing option. And you can see here, it sequenced the layers one after another. Now this isn't quite what we want because this is going to be much too long. We can drag this sequence value down here to make it a bit quicker. Now we can't really see what we're doing here, but what we can do is with our layers selected, if we press Z, it's going to center them in the viewport. And now we can continue to scale them a bit. So if we try playing this, you can see now it's coming in letter by letter, but we can do something even cooler than this. Let's align them to the left again. And this time we're going to use the skew feature again. So we bring our cursor to the top of our selection and move it across. And this time we also move our cursor down and you can see it's offsetting based on wherever our cursor is vertically. So we can come up with a kind of triangle shape here and we try playing this. You can see the side letters are coming in first and the center letter is last. This is a little bit slow. So I'm going to scale it by box selecting and then bringing my cursor to the right hand side of this bounding box and just adjusting it like this. And this should make it a bit faster. I like that. After we apply our skew, this box will pop up at the bottom. And this box is going to provide us with some even more customizable easing tools. And then let's try selecting this S shaped easing curve. And now if we move these handles around, you can see it's adjusting the intensity. This seems quite subtle. What we can actually do is hold control and this allows us to bring the handle actually outside of the graph itself and we can get something much more extreme. And then you can actually see now the S shape forming here. Now, if we just drag these layers a bit forward and we can play this and see what's happening. Let's scale this down a bit so it's a bit quicker. And now we can actually see, if we pause about here, we can see this S shape, it almost looks like a bird. Now, one of the big features of Skew 
is this liquify tool. So you can either click this icon or press Q and this will bring up two circles around our cursor and we can click and hold to nudge layers in different directions. You can change the size of the brush by holding control and using the scroll wheel and you can change the fall off or the softness of the brush by holding control and shift and scrolling. So let's say we want this S shape to be a bit more extreme. We can move these along like that. Let's decrease the size of the brush a bit. Do that, move this one along. And you can see it can give you some very fine grain control over your layers. Here we have an animation with many layers. They're 3D layers moving towards the camera. When you're working with many layers, Skew provides tools to make things a lot easier. First, let's solo our layers. We can press Ctrl A to select all our layers. We can right click and press select every. Right now, it's defaulting to selecting every two layers, but you can also tweak this index. So for example, we can select every three layers. Now we can either move them inside the skew panel, or you can even press push selection to AE, which will select the layers down in your After Effects layer panel. And then you can adjust them manually from there. Now let's right click, select every again, do index three again, and then you can use this shift to shift your selection forward a bit. So let's select these layers and let's offset them a tiny bit as well. And now if we play the animation, there's an interesting delay going on there. We can also select our layers and click rotate. And this is going to rotate your selection based on how much you move your mouse. So let's try this. And maybe let's scale it down a bit to make it a bit quicker. So I'm gonna box select, scale it down. Let's try this. So now it's sort of coming in from right to left and also with a bit of a delay on the Z space. Okay, but even better, say we wanted to add a bit more randomness to this. We can highlight them again and click move randomly. And this is going to offset each layer randomly and we can use the scroll wheel to generate new random seeds. So let's try this. Pretty cool. So we've staggered all our layers. Let's say we wanted to tidy up the end of our layers here. You can press tab to go to in and out mode or you can click this icon here. Let's select all of the end points here and now let's press align right. And now it has tidied this all up for us. And let's come back to layer mode by pressing tab again. Another thing you can do if you're working with lots of layers is you can click this magnifying glass up here. That will vertically fit all your layers to the view. To be honest, this feels like a feature that should have been in After Effects to start with. I hope you enjoyed this video on SKU. If you want to pick up the plugin, you can use my link in the description to get a discount. Check out my other videos on Goodbye Ninja's tools for After Effects. Peace.